The longest language. Morgan's Sphinx Moth. This Madagascar willow has the longest tongue among insects. So long that he easily inserts his tongue into the white star orchids. The sweet sap of this flower is at the end of the long tube of petals. This sap is released only at night, and its intense aroma makes willows from far distances attracted to this flower. Because no other insect's tongue is long enough, Morgan's hawk moth is confident that it can always find food in the star orchid. The tongue of this moth is more than five times longer than its body. When these willows sit on orchid flowers, they send their long tongue into the flower and drink its juice. When the feeding is over, the willow rises and looks for another flower of the same species. In this process, moths carry the pollen attached to their legs from one flower to another and perform the important pollination activity so that the orchids can produce seeds. The tongue of this willow works like a straw so that it can quickly drink the sap of the orchid flower. When the willow is not using its tongue for drinking, it folds it into a flat spiral under its head. Orchids have a good reason for attracting willows. This plant needs willows for pollination. Pollens are inside two small capsules. When the butterflies take their tongues out of the flower, the capsules stick to the end of the long tongue of the willows. At this time, the long willow tongue curls and retracts while the pollen capsule is still attached to the tip of the willow tongue. Now the willow is looking for the next flower, and he has no interest in other flowers or similar species. Therefore, there is no risk of wrong pollination and loss of pollen, and this is what the orchid plant wants to continue its generation. When the moth finds a new orchid, it opens its tongue and sends into the flower trumpet to drink the sweet sap of the flower. As soon as it starts drinking, the capsules containing the pollen from the previous flower are transferred to the new flower, and the fertilization process takes place so the orchid can make seeds. Now that the willow has done its mission well, it receives its reward from sweet flower nectar. Blowing Golden Insects Golden Chafer Some of the most beautiful beetles look like jewels. They are beautiful and shiny as if they were made of precious metals like gold. This shine is due to the reflection of light from a unique layered structure in their outer armor. Many of these beetles glow in green and red colors. But the golden beetles in Central America have a bright golden yellow reflection. As if they were made of gold. Contrary to expectations, the same bright golden color leads to their better camouflage because it makes them appear like shining drops of water on the leaves of tropical rainforests.